Um, but yeah, wilding out. That was a different. Bro, so let me. Time. It's okay. We talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we go. We're doing wilding out. I want to say I think this is like my fourth season. Okay, he was just coming on. So super excited for him, like man, this is because you know just as just like a a nigga that been on the show, like you know what I'm saying see anybody else get that opportunity, you know it's like yo, this is dope, and this is my guy from all depths, like oh this is gonna be amazing, bro. We get to to get ready to go shoot, everything is fine, his voice just goes out, it's just no voice. Him I had a vocal, a vocal paralysis. So one of my Mouth vocal cords, and he sounded like, like he sounded inflated. like Mickey no, Mouse. It, it oh, would he, not inflate. Your oh, your vocal inflated. cords inflate when you inflate. talk, and uh -huh. they vibrate. So yeah. you can have a voice. My, one of them deflated. And I started to sound like this. Like, nigga, and, he, like oh. and it was straight. such a messed up thing because yeah. he works so hard in everything that, that he does. I don't know if I ever told you that, but you're one of my inspirations, just how you work. Like, this nigga gets it's, after it's it. work ethic. And so he had worked so hard. I'm just like, I remember even to myself thinking, like, this is so fucking unfair. <laughs> yeah, like, so <laughs> But the thing that he even inspired me at in those moments he didn't let it bother him. He yeah. did other things that he could do yeah. to control. He went and shout out to Niall Evans. Like he went and got up under Niall, like you know what I'm saying, and was working, doing different things, and was able to like help do different things behind the yeah. scenes and was able to stay there for years and years Damn. and still be able to work. And I just love that about those me. those not explaining this to the T. Let me let <laughs> okay. me tell you what I did, right? Okay. So first of all, the there's workshops when you right, get, right, right. when you book while and out you you're scheduled to do the workshops where they basically run you through the gauntlet of the games and you learn okay, about the learn, show okay right? yeah structure but when that happens it's basically a feeding frenzy mm. for all the niggas who are vets yes. yeah, okay. or who have been they, there they for get season. to pick on whoever so they want doe was there right <laughs> Uh, DC Young Fly was there. Chico, okay. Bean, being Carlos, Carlos yeah. Big Baby, you Emmanuel, name it. all these niggas. <laughs> heavy, heavy, heavy hitters, heavy everyone. hitters. And I'm in there like, yeah, you mother so bad, <laughs> you so stupid. And it literally like, sounded like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I couldn't. I that, I had two choices. It was either B A, don't go, or don't go, show up, or and home. or go and right, just say right. fuck it. I'm gonna see if I can still get on the show anyway. So I went anyway. Mm -hmm. And that is, I think, what allowed now to see that I was still creative mm -hmm. and other people to see that I was still out. You know, I'm still funny. And so they they were like, fuck it, do you want to contribute to the show still? And that, you know, that's kind of how I went down that path. Mm -hmm. But it was, you know, and it, it was a full circle moment because I think season 20, season 21, mm -hmm. when I was uh, consulting, mm -hmm. um, I ended up being on it on the show for like an episode. Which <laughs> I, was like, I was like, all right, you know, it's fine, it's cool, you know. <laughs> But it was still fun, though. That's funny. I, I just yeah. think that there's just something so dope in just being able to have the mindset to just not yeah. pack it up when hey, shit goes wrong. Do me a favor. Don't label this sickle cell ruins Jay Snow's nah, career. Never, I, never, I, that's never. shit Tim did. <laughs> Tim, I love you, bro, but that was some whole ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I just And thank you for even being open, you know, to talk about it, because I just think it's, you know, it just opens people's eyes, because, you know, like, even with me, like, I'm 44, like, I still didn't have a full understanding yeah. of what it was so it's you know yeah. it's good to you know, I, learn I still about believe it. man like showing up is half the battle bro it is yeah. showing up is is half the fight like you can mm -hmm. you can like he said you can either pack it up and go home or just go for it and yeah. right sometimes and you don't know what can come if you just show up 